Alright kiddos, I'm going to be teaching you how to add lighting and rendering effects. Well, not rendering, render settings. First things first, you want to model and pose your character or avatar. I have mine in the rebirth clothing that I made. Uh, it's my group, you should check it out. And then I just recently made a video on how to import models into Roblox, from Roblox Studio into Blender. So what's next is adding lighting. Lighting is usually pretty tedious because you have to know how to control the lighting well. Usually people do about two point lighting, one point lighting. I'm doing three point lighting. So usually you start with the sun. So how to add it, you press shift A, go into light and then sun. You press G and then Z to bring it up. And then, um, yeah. You just move it over here. So G, X, and then G, Y in order to move it around. G is, is for grabbing, all right? And then locking it into an axis. So there's Z, which is up and down. X, which is like side to side, and then Y front and back. It's pretty fun. So then um, you just get into like a nice little spot. Make sure you're in Eevee for right now. We're gonna render in cycles anyways, but Eevee is better in order to see the rendered version. But when, once you render it into cycles, you'll, you'll thank me later. So you go into Eevee, you press bloom in order to, wait, actually, we'll go over that later. So here's the sun light thing. So what you're gonna do next is go into this little data section with a little light bulb and you're gonna change the strength to let's say five. Five to seven is usually good. It's pretty easy. Then this little ball here, you're gonna grab it and you're gonna move it. Yeah, it'll look weird at first, but you can like shift it around, see what fits your avatar the best. So this is gonna be front lighting. Usually tone it down to like four maybe. All right, so we got the base lighting on there. The next thing we're gonna do is shift A, light, and then area. You're gonna bring this up, and then you're gonna press R, and then X. That'll lock it into the X axis. Then you're gonna press 90, then again R, and then X, and then Z, and then press 90. We're gonna move it to the side, scale it up with S, and then we're gonna change the power. Usually I just go as much as I can and then turn it down. So that's usually the rim lighting. What we're gonna do uh, before we change up the lighting a little more is press Shift A and then camera. If you have a large keyboard with a number pad, just press zero on that number pad. If you don't, then um, you're gonna have to go to edit, preferences, then go to key map, if I remember well. Uh, go into camera. And then usually any of these, you just change it to zero on your uh, keyboard. That's what I did. It works, works fine with me. And then you just press zero to, in order to activate the camera. So then you just position the camera um, to where you need it to be. Usually I just keep it, let's just keep it there for now. Uh, another cool thing that you could do is go into the camera or the data, go down to viewport display, go to pass part out and turn it up to one. So then you can see exactly what you're rendering. It's pretty fun, pretty cool. So then we're gonna rotate it a little, actually no, we're gonna grab it and then move it there. It's, it's in order to give it a nice room lighting. So now we can change the color, let's say to a nice red. We're gonna go with blue today. Actually purple, purple seems cool. All right, so there's the rim lighting. And then last but not least, we're gonna shift D and press X. That'll move, it, that'll duplicate it and then move it on the X axis. Then we're gonna press R, Z, and then 180. It's gonna look funky at first. Press zero again in order to activate the camera. Let's turn it down by one. There you go. 
you have base lighting, you have point lighting and rim lighting. So this will make sure that your avatar looks snazzy and spicy. And that's pretty much it. So now render settings. Because you're an Eevee, it's a lot easier to set the settings first. So usually, um, the things I do in order to render it perfectly, in my opinion, uh, is just press bloom, so then lighting will bounce off of the object, then press motion blur, in case you're animating or whatever. It, I just put that on. Then you go to film, and then transparent. This will make sure that your render is transparent, PNG, and not like with the background. And the next thing you're gonna do is go to cycles. Yes, it'll be pixelated and harder wait, harder to move around because um, it's all pixelated and it basically carries a lot more polygons when rendering. It's samples, not polygons. But um, yeah, everything should be ready. And then you just hit render, then render image. And then we just wait and it should be good. But yeah, lighting is pretty fun. And then render settings, I really just recommend you practice what you have to activate. You can play around, it's pretty fun. And then for lighting, there's a bunch of tutorials on Pinterest on how to render out lighting. Since there's three point lighting, two point lighting, one point lighting. I love rim lighting because that really gives it a nice effect to your character. So yeah, just practice that out, make sure everything looks good, and yeah. This is mostly just a waiting game, thanks to the render settings.